Welcome to Crime Time News. Now, people, I've been having a couple of conversations with a couple of friends, people that I know from high school days, real friends and associates. And every conversation that I have, when it ends, the last thing them say, my youth, be careful out there, sir, you know, because you know how Jamaica run. You know how Jamaica people stay. And the fact that you're probably the most hated blogger, news blogger from Jamaica. And usually me say, I don't think that I am the most hated. And then people would respond and say, Trust me, you're the most hated because you're a thing, a reality. When you talk, People are get locked up, people are get arrested, or even worse, people are get D E A D I N G. So people, it leads me to believe. Why do I even do this? Is it because of the challenge? Is it because my kinda want to see Jamaica be a better place? Or is it because financial? Or is it all of the above? I would think that it is all of the above. However, least important is the money. However, it leads me to ask myself, do I need to get some sorts of protection? Do I need to arms up myself for any possible, inevitable, or people are going to try you? So therefore, do I need to run to the FLA and ball and plead my case and say, listen, my life is actually in danger. So therefore, if you can expedite the process, me need my license ASAP from yesterday. However, people, you understand how the organization work. They're not too rational in their thinking or decision-making process. Now, why would people say this, that I am probably the most hated blog up on YouTube? And everybody hate me. And when they talk about everybody, these are the categories in which they put it in. High profile criminals, meaning that attorneys, meaning that politician, meaning people in a high places. That are always exposed. The wrongdoers. People that are abusing people's rights. I feel as if it is my job. It is my obligation. As a resident of Jamaica. As somebody that has Jamaica's best interest at heart. So therefore. I not really to care about them. If they are the wrong. They need to be highlighted. Therefore Jamaica can get back. To where it was maybe about five or six decades ago. Before it basically went down the drains. Down the slammers. The next people them claim say. Eat me at the paw paw. And when I say the paw paw. I am speaking about. The rogue paw paw them. The corrupted paw paw them. Those that don't have the characteristics to be paw paw. However people. Truth be told. I have links with most of the high profile popo. A lot of information that they get. I am not just me, other bloggers too, but I think me for the most case. I am the bridge of communication between the garrison and also the popo. Remember, I am not a criminal. So therefore, them now going to say me a snitch, meaning the gangster. Because it is my civic duty and I've always said that. Listen, if you're a legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizen of any country, Jamaica in this case, you should speak up to make your country better. The next group of them say, brother, you have to be careful, you know. Because remember, you highlight gunman, you highlight Dan, you highlight scammer. You highlight just about anybody that is doing anything. 
you have the picture of them, you have the voice notes, you have the video, you have documented proof. So therefore, them people are going to hate you. However, people, there is a pros and the cons, the ebbs and the flow to everything. Truth be told, just like the poor poor see me as the bridge of communication, it is the same thing with these dons, these gunmen, because sometimes the story gets out there and maybe the story is not as 100% accurate. So therefore, people would often call me and say, me hear you talk about X, Y, Z at this place. However, this is the case. Why want you do the correction. And because I am a fear blogger, I usually do. So therefore, there is some sort of love and hate relationship with me and the criminal element in Jamaica. Same thing with the poor poor. Them don't know what to think. However, I think that them kind of have me more upon the good side other than the bad side. And people, don't get it twisted. Don't get it misconstrued. I am cautious. I think take all relevant security measures to make sure it's a listen. Me and them now go have any sorts of meeting. There won't be any sorts of gunman and blogger conference or police and blogger conference. So therefore, them stay over there so, and me stay over here so, and we coexist. Them do what them do and me do what me do. However, I am sure that if you are a person that comes on my channel, the people that are the most uh, parasitic is what we call the hate squad. The hate squad is people that hate you because people say them to hate you. Them not have no reasoning. You know. Them can pinpoint and point them finger and say, yeah, him do that because we see him do it and we know him do it and we have evidence. No, it is because specific people out there painting an agenda. Why would people paint these agenda? The same reason people spread propaganda and roam upon people. It is because of insecurity. It is because them know say, listen, you see, if you tell a lie a million times, it becomes truth. You see, if you have a subset, and by sub, I mean under intelligent people, that their minds are easily manipulated and you tell them one thing, they are going to believe it, especially if you keep repeating it. Because, people, here's the thing. Truth is the most dangerous thing. A lot of people don't like truth. A lot of people live a fake life, a double life. So therefore, when you come with truth and you say, you know, so I listen to XYZ story and appear foolish in my talk. Especially, especially when me as a person have my ears on the street. Especially when me have certain link, good, bad and ugly and indifferent. And then me hear a story. And I know the people them that are a part of the story. And them call me and say. You know, some of you want like a madman over so I said this, that, Rete and the other. Here is the story. Because I know say you know the man there. Because the man they tell me say him know you. So here is the story. Put out the story. Put out the truth. People get na them feelings. So therefore. Them go up on them platform. And them start the character assassination. Them start tell people, say, Yo, you know, so the man they link with certain artists and certain producer and certain producer appear him and him want agent. So therefore, hate him because I am the solution. 
I am the one, I am the golden child that is going to make Jamaica better. So therefore, if me get them for eat him, then it seems as if them love me because two we can coexist. Me want this, me want to be the man. It makes, it gives me an adrenaline rush for no say, yeah, I mean a lot the thing. However, people, like them say, illusion, delusion, very close. Reality, that is what this channel is about. Reality, actually making a difference. Actually solving crimes in a real life. Actually giving the poor poor information and say, for example, Mr. Roshin, the man with take away the mother and the four pitney. Me tell them already. Ask Stephanie Lindsay, I will give them the information to make them know, say, Adessa the boy there, Achilani and family house. Now me, many, many other cases, countless, so people, me just say, at the end of the day, me take this blogging thing as a challenge. Me try to do the right thing. Me not have no criminal friend, me not have no criminal producer, me I know no agent, the only agent I am is the agent of truth. The real agent is a liar that spread rumors and propaganda upon other people. So therefore, him have to put other people down, so therefore him can rise. However, people, like them say, the cream always rises to the top. It is only a matter of time. So people, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is this. I really don't do this thing in fear of anybody because if I did, I would not be doing it. However, do I, should I have reasons to be concerned? Am I aware that there is some sorts of risks associated with this thing? Yes, I am fully aware of that. Because when you talk about people in a high places, high profile criminals when you talk about rogue popo bad cops when you talk about actual criminals yeah them people have money them people have a ulterior motive or a motive why they want to see you gone missing off of the face of the earth so therefore yes i do have a concern However, when it comes to the hate squad, they chat him out. Listen, there's no sorts of damage that you can do to me by telling a lie. And people, like you say, all of the lies that have been told have been exposed. Because there's one thing about life. Time. Time answers all. Time brings everything to light. Whatever is in the dark will come to light. So therefore, when you put out a story saying X, Y, Z, and me put out a story say A, B, C, yeah, people might believe at start. However, when the truth gets revealed, it exposes who is a liar and who I tell the truth. Simple as that. Me no need to say 40 and next word, point blank and period.